Okay, in this part two video of this war that Jink has started, and I, I don't know, Jink has just gotten himself so deep into it, and I'm going to show y'all some actual proof of his connections with Nancy Pelosi and some other things, because I actually have some things I want to show y'all, and you could draw your own connections, but if you stay to the end, I'm going to show you that, because it, it's, it's a lot that I want to get in this video, and you can see right here, this is going way back to November because we can't start in like now or last month because this has been going on. It's just gotten so nasty. Okay. But this is what this is about. This is about Medicare for all. And you can see that they were advocating for this at least three years ago, but they were advocating for longer than that, like four years. And it was weird because during the pandemic last year, Jimmy was like, well, look, for one, Jink was always talking about trying to get the progressives together to challenge Nancy Pelosi. Okay. If, if you go through his tweets, all right, he's saying it's stunning to me. No progressive is going to run against Nancy. Progressives in Congress need to organize and stop being afraid of leadership. Now, I'm going to try to piece these together because these tweets are all over the place. One second, he's saying, you know, challenge Nancy. And then he's got another video where he's saying, he's got another tweet where he's saying, if you challenge Nancy, then, um, the Republican Speaker McCarthy, he, he, the, the Republican um, McCarthy, he's going to become Speaker. And, he, and, and Jimmy's like, you're lying. So in one, this one, he's saying, I, I, why is nobody um, why is nobody running against it? Then in another video, he's going to be, it's, it's, he's all over the place. Then he's got videos where he's saying that I, I was pushing for Medicare for all. And then he's got another video saying, well, that's stupid. We shouldn't be doing it. And Jimmy doesn't know what he's talking about. And it's, and. The thing that I realized was that everything with him was flip-flopping and it seemed so complicated because he's lying. That's why. And Jimmy, whole principle stayed the same. And even Kyle said in his video, Kyle said the exact same thing, that uh, Jimmy's plan was to get a floor vote on Medicare for All. That way we can know who is with us and who's against us. And, what, and not realizing what Kyle had said, what he actually did was he exposed that Jink wasn't with us because... He didn't want to get on board, so he immediately exposed, and that's that's when all that's when it really started, because that's when Jimmy started calling um, Jink a fraud, because at this point, the biggest thing on a progressive ticket is Medicare for all, like uh, minimum wage, fifteen dollars, and and um, you know Green New Deal, that would be like number two and number three. But any progressive is going to put number one Medicare for all, especially during a pandemic. Okay, now, um, now here's Jink. He's saying, now he's saying, challenging progressives to defy democratic leadership and force a floor vote on Medicare for all is so obvious. I've been pushing for it for two years. The question is, what vote you push on? The one where you hand speaker position to GOP? Now he's saying, you know, that this is where he starts talking about Kevin McCarthy, where you hand him the speaker position. And Jimmy says, sorry, Jink is misleading his audience once again. If Pelosi doesn't get enough votes, it doesn't get handed to the GOP. That's not how it works. He's gaslighting everyone now and running interference for the Democratic Party, which is true. And I'm going to show you why he's running. Um, I'm going to show you why he's running interference for the for the Democratic Party, and I'm going to show you why he's he's uh, covering for Nancy so much. This guy says he's silly. He says if Pelosi doesn't win. First round, it goes another round, and the call and the cause votes again. In no scenario would Dems vote for McCarthy. You know this, and you still post this nonsense. If you don't know this, what exactly are they paying you for? Hmm. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna show you what they're paying him for. All right. And then this person says, "You now, guys, look. This is way back in December. So now you can see." How Jink has gotten to this, uh, bringing Aaron Monte, uh, Glenn Greenwald. He's, he's trying to use every diversion that he can. And he's just bringing people in and just, just making it about all of this other stuff. When these people are telling you this, this is what it's about right here. He's lying to cover for the Democratic Party. That's what he's doing. All right. Do you know how speakers are elected? You know, um, you are so disappointing. Another BS artist. Surprise, surprise, surprise. We see you. See? Way back in December, 
and and like I said, it's got it's gotten so bad that it's gotten to the point where now he's he's just desperate. See back back then right here, he was just trying to say, Oh, Jimmy's an idiot, Jimmy doesn't know any better, Jimmy doesn't know any but but now people are like, Nah, Jimmy, you're lying. You know, now he says there is nothing wrong with force to vote. What's wrong is the timing. Let's do force to vote ten ten more times at the right time. Right time is not an excuse to wait in this case. The right time before this vote. I guess the vote for, for Nancy. I like being aggressive, but you have to do it strategically. Okay. Now, this guy says, you say it isn't the right time because you think it might work. Jimmy says that in one of his videos. And I'm going to show you all that too. You're a brazen liar in an obvious shell. Of course, he's running cover. Okay. And then um, Jimmy says, yes, we need to keep waiting. He was such a good boy, Democrat. Hmm. Now look at this. Now look. He's been talking about Medicare for all since 2018. But this is, look, I'm going to show you all this. He goes back further. Look at all these videos. Look at all the, look. Look at all of these, all of these, you go to his channel, you type in Medicare for all in the search bar, right? We have the Young Turks. Look at all of these videos. Look, these, these videos are three years ago, two years ago. And now he's saying now is not the right time. What is he talking about? They've been talking about it for three years. Three years. Three years. And I want to show you this other fraud, Kyle. Because you have to remember, Kyle is part of the TYT network as well. Now, Kyle didn't come out and oppose it. But I want to show you this. Right now, when we look at Kyle, okay, here's Kyle versus, I'm putting Kyle versus Jimmy. But this is Kyle's channel, okay? Now, you type in Medicare for All. Look at Kyle. Kyle, Kyle has even more videos than Jink, okay? Now, look at this. Kyle has all of these, all of these videos of Medicare for All. He's got, look, a video from five years ago, six years ago. And all of these, look, I'm, I'm just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. There's no end to it. But look at Kyle. Look. This is January 20, 2015. Now, look at when it came for forced to vote. Kyle, on his channel, and like I said in my last video, maybe Kyle, maybe Kyle advocated it to Jimmy privately. Maybe he advocated it on Twitter. But on his channel, you saw all of the videos from Medicare for All. I mean, yeah, Medicare for All. But look, he's got two videos. This is about $15 minimum wage. There is nothing else about forced to vote. This is about forcing to vote on Saudi Arabia. Now, but I want to show you all this. Forced to vote was six, seven, eight months ago. This is a video where he's doing about Noam Chomsky on forced to vote on somebody else's channel, the Vanguard. Two months ago. This is two this was been over by two months ago. But the thing about it is, Noam Chomsky, he's saying, Oh no, you shouldn't vote forced to vote. And Noam Chomsky is also the same person who says blow vote for vote blue, vote for Hillary, vote for Biden. So I don't know who's paying Norm at this point. But I know that from from watching this now look now here is here's Kyle okay Kyle does a video but Kyle does not advocate this is Justin Jackson a football player Jimmy's face is right you can't see it because it is little wait watch later and this little I had to check but Jimmy's in his vid in his see you can see here's Jimmy all right now he go now I want to show you all this now Jink just said you have no strategy now let's listen to Kyle this is something let's listen to Kyle so Jimmy Dore has been advocating for the idea of the left withholding their vote from Pelosi for speaker unless she commits to a floor vote on Medicare for all. And that's something 12, he's been advocating in less than 12 seconds. Listen to it again. So Jimmy Dore has been advocating for the idea of the left withholding their vote from Pelosi for speaker unless she commits to a floor vote on Medicare for all. The OK, the left. It, is going to hold their vote for speaker unless they get a floor vote for Medicare for all. Now, Jink is over here talking about, let's see, what's wrong is the timing. And he's talking about you have no strategy. Well, he, Kyle just told you what your strategy is. All right. The strategy is hold your vote. Kyle just told you in 12 seconds he told you this. 12 seconds. He's, he's running cover. For, he's running cover for Nancy Pelosi. One. Because he doesn't want to challenge Nancy. And he's also kneecapping forced to vote at the same time. Okay. Now, look at this. Now, she's going to tell you why we need forced, why we need health care. She says 70% of Americans agree with this. Now, they were talking about this in 2018. You would think, you would think. Now, even when you look at Kyle. Kyle, like I said, 
Kyle didn't come out here and just say force to vote. Like I said, he's got two videos. In this video, he's talking about, look, you can see Jimmy right here. This video, you go through this whole video, Kyle does not at one time say yes, yes. I've been talking about, look, I've been talking about this for six years. Of course, Jimmy, come on my show. You know who had him? Look, let me show y'all something. Let me see if I have it pulled up. Look, um, The Hill. Let's, let's go to that channel. Let's go to Jimmy Dore. Okay. Now look at this. Look, Jimmy Dore. Now, and then she does a follow-up, recapping what they talked about in this video, okay? Now look, this is, this is the video. I'm not... I'm talking about the squad, Cory Bush, Jamal Bowman, Ro Khanna, people like that, Ariana Presley, people who are actually have progressive policies. Now, now they have leverage. What's their leverage, Jimmy? Well, Nancy Pelosi needs their vote for speaker, right? Because the Democrats and Nancy Pelosi performed so poorly that they lost speak, they lost seats in the House under Donald Trump. So now the margin is really small, right? So just a handful of progressives could say, Nancy Pelosi, we're withholding our vote from you for speaker unless you bring up Medicare for all for vote on the floor. That's our deal. Now it's up to Nancy Pelosi. Do you want to risk your speakership or do you want to make sure we have a vote on a basic human right this is very doable everybody who i've said it, even my detractors are saying this is a great idea so this is a good idea uh this could actually work we all are upset that progressives never flex their muscle never use their power you know the worst abuse of power crystal is not using the power okay now i just wanted to give you a snippet of that but my main point is why has kyle been fight talking about this since 2015 why has the young turks look why do they have all of these videos about Medicare for all, Medicare for all? Now, here's Anna. Anna's going to tell you why we need it. 70% of Americans 70 want Medicare for all, and I'm one of them. But what is it? How does it work? Why Isn't it? 70% of Americans want Medicare for all, and I'm one of them. But what is it? How does it work? Why do we need it? Here's what progressives have to say. Now, did you hear that? 70%. So, now when it's... Now, and this is three years ago, and Kyle's been talking about it for six years, but Kyle didn't advocate. Why Why did Crystal advocate for it on her show? But he's been, this, this guy has, not only does he have six years worth of videos, but look how far, look, look, I'm, look, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Kyle's a fraud. Look at all these Medicare for all. Look, all you gotta do is come up here, type it in the, in the search box. Look, Medicare for all, Medicare for all. Medicare. Look at all these videos. There's no end to it. There's no end. But when it was time to actually do something, he did nothing. He didn't bring Jimmy on his show. He didn't advocate for it. I showed y'all the two videos. He didn't advocate for it. He talked about a football player getting into it with AOC. That's what he talked about. He talked about Noam Chomsky on somebody else's channel. When it came to force to vote, there is not one video. If we go back, there is not one video. Look, this is minimum wage. This is There is not one video of Kyle because you know why? Because Kyle is part of the Young Turks network. The whole, the rest of the network, like Sam Cedar, they just straight up said, no, no, I don't, I don't want to do it at all. Sam Cedar went so low as to say that I don't want to do it because of Jimmy. He went on Brianna Joy's Gray show and he said that, now he's got a bunch of videos where he's talking about Medicare for all, but then when Jimmy pushed forced to vote, Sam said, no, I, w I don't want to do it because of Jimmy. What? So you're willing to deny millions of people health care because of Jimmy and during a pandemic? Hmm, this seems strange. Benjamin Dixon. Benjamin Dixon, Dixon said, Jimmy, his idea is stupid. Oh, but all of these people have been taught. See, the thing is, and, and Kyle really showed himself when he did those two videos about Jimmy and he made it about Anna skirt. This That was Kyle running cover for Jink. That's what he was doing. He was running cover for Jink because Jink has been exposed so bad as being a fake progressive that that instead of and and he said I'm gonna ask the I'm gonna ask the tough question the tough question he said I would have to ask Jimmy about um about Anna's skirt did he mean to say it? oh the tough question would have been right here this would have been a tough question why you been why has T Y T been advocating for Medicare for all all of these years and now when it's time to force a vote and say Nancy do you give us what we want or we won't vote for you now they're going against it. That would have been a tough question, but he didn't ask that. He kept he kept making it about Anna because he because Kyle is running cover. In his videos, I'm gonna show y'all some other videos where Kyle, not in this 
not in this series, but there's videos where Kyle knows that the progressives, because he had it on his show where Corey Bush said, we're not going to vote together. We're not. And then he then he goes, um, two months later, he goes on on, on Crystal and, and Saga, and he says, well, if they just vote together, they just said they're not. So they've already said they're not going to, they're selling out. And then when Jimmy, Jimmy calls them corrupt, Kyle gets super animated. They're not corrupt. They're, he, he gets why is he covering why is he covering for Jink and why is he covering from the squad? Hmm. Because you have to remember that Jink and Kyle are the originators of the squad. I saw a video with Jink um, with Kyle back in 2017 before people even knew who Alexandria uh Cortez was. And he said this is gonna be the one that we're gonna use to take out Joe Crowley. And that's what they did. But what they did was they took out a corporate Democrat and they gave us another corporate Democrat with, with AOC. Because she's, she, she's got, there's, there's a, um, there's a post of her where she's giving money to corporate Democrats. So she did, all they did was took him out. And I'm, I'm gonna show y'all why they took him out. And it had, a, it had to do with Nancy Pelosi. All right. But now listen to this. She's gonna, uh, Anna's gonna keep going on. Progressives like us here at TYT believe in universal health care instead of what we have now because our system is the worst. And I'm not just saying that. Study after study shows we have the worst health care system of any wealthy developed nation. Seriously, all these countries, the UK, the Netherlands, Canada and France, they're beating us. We're way down here. A study by the Commonwealth Fund says the U.S. fared especially badly on measures of affordability. Now. That's what this is about. It's about healthcare. And she just said, we have the worst. Now, in the middle of a pandemic, we have the worst, the worst health insurance, uh, Medicare or whatever, health insurance, whatever you want to call it. And this is what Jink is saying. This, this is what he's saying. Challenging Pelosi to defy leadership and a, and to get a, just a full vote. Not get it passed, just get a full vote. Let's just see who, who's for it. Jink is not for it. And then he says, he's been pushing for it for two years. Jink, you're lying. You're lying. Then right here, he says, there's nothing wrong with forced to vote. What's wrong is the timing. Jink, I just showed, I just showed y'all a video of Kyle talking about it. He's on the TYT network. So why didn't Kyle get on his, on his channel and say, Jimmy, come on on, come on my channel, Jimmy. And why didn't Kyle, why, if he didn't even bring Jimmy on, why didn't he say, Jimmy? Yes, I, I most def, I've been talking about this for six years. I have a hundred videos of me talking about, it. hell yeah, I'm behind it. Why, why was Jimmy, why, why, why was he over here on the rising? Why didn't Kyle bring him on? Hmm. Cause Kyle doesn't, Kyle, Kyle is part of the TYT corporate, he's, Kyle is a corporate Democrat because I'm gonna tell you something else. Jimmy had a guy on his show that was talking about the People's Party, the a third party. Kyle went ballistic about a third party. He lost his mind. He said everything about why this guy's gonna fail. He called him everything but a stupid asshole. Kyle, and I'm like, I'm like, well, Kyle, you know you cannot change the Democratic Party. They are too corrupt, and you you can already see. And instead, he attacked that guy. He attacked that guy and told him why he was a loser, why he was gonna fail. And then he goes on on Crystal and 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 whatever that guy's Jaeger, whatever I don't know, whatever that white wing whatever he, he goes in that show and he says well you know we just need to get the um we just need the progressive to get together after cory bush said they're not going to get together so why isn't he why isn't he getting animated about going off on the progressives who said they're not going to do anything but the guy who's actually trying to do something why does he attack that guy the same way the same way when jimmy was pushing for force to vote and trying to get medicare for all and then Anna blackmailed him to try to take the cover off of, of them being exposed for being the biggest progressive network that was going against it. And Jimmy had been calling him out for the last six or seven months. Instead of Kyle pointing out, Kyle blamed Jimmy. So Kyle has blamed the guy that's trying to get a third party because the progressives in Congress aren't doing anything. And they said they aren't. He attacks that guy. Jimmy, who's fighting for... To get, he was fighting to either get a floor vote from Pelosi or get her the hell out of there. He went and he, and he's attacking Jimmy in that, in that Anna situation. That's got nothing to do with Anna and, and sexual harassment. That was Kyle running cover. Kyle's corrupt. He's corrupt. He's corrupt. That's what that is. He's part of it. 
Because if, if he wasn't, why didn't why didn't he why didn't he, why didn't he enforce why didn't he push for force to vote if he'd been talking about it all this time? Hmm. Because he's on the TYT network and they all oppose it. But now Kyle didn't up outwardly oppose it, but his silence said that he didn't endorse it. At least at least if he did endorse it, he didn't endorse it in front of his million, nearly one million YouTube subscribers. He didn't do that. It's a fraud. Now here he is lying again. Now, once over here he was saying that it's stunning that no progressives are running against Nancy. Now now in a, look, now he's talking about this is nowhere near true. Before Jimmy jumped in with his half half baked plan to hand the Republican Kevin McCarthy speaker position, I call for progressives to challenge her within the Democratic caucus. Okay? Now Jimmy is already saying, You are a sad little man who has no idea how to actually fight or challenge power. Since you took twenty million from Clinton donors, get your head out your ass and get on board. See, Jimmy's already look, this way back in December, Jim was Jimmy this is when Jimmy started really saying y'all corrupt. And it's true. And I'm I'm gonna show y'all. Okay? And then he said you're lying about the GOP take now now this is now now he in one set in, in, in one tweet he's saying I'm telling him to, to take on Nancy. And then in this tweet he's saying, No, don't do it because if you do, then McCarthy's gonna get it. What is, which is it, Jink? Which is it, he's lying. Okay? Now he's saying if you wanna you have to do oh if you wanna challenge Pelosi, you have to do your homework and figure ahead out of time. Who could run against her in a caucus? Not wait till it's the choice. Okay. Well, right here you just said, you just said it's stunning that no progressive. So why now over here, why is he saying you have to figure out ahead of time? Hmm. You just said a progressive. You just said a progressive. Now you're saying, well, we, we don't know who's going to run it. Come on, Jim. Come on. They started the Justice Gem Democrats in 2017 to take out corporate Democrats. Kyle said it. Nancy would have been the biggest prize to take out as a corporate Democrat. They took out Joe Crowley and they gave us AOC. That's what they did. They took out Joe Crowley, who was a dem who was a corporate Democrat. They took out took him out with an unknown bartender, who is tied to Jink. And I'm I'm gonna get into all of that, but I want to show y'all. Okay, now, okay, now now by now in January, uh, Jimmy's just calling him flat out the fraud squad. And look, he's talking about. Do you understand that if all ten Justice Democrats had voted present, GOP leader um mccarthy would be leader you know he lying again look look jimmy i mean not, not just i like I'm, i like this guy he said you dumbass you know your self-serving lies are entirely transparent right basically you're showing that you were bought and owned you stupid idiot just shut up and stop tweeting and then jimmy says i know this isn't how it works because I've explained it. I've had it explained to me a million times now by forced to vote advocates. But for some reason, I'm not embarrassed to keep pushing this obvious lie that GOP could take speakership. Please donate. It's fun. That's what he's saying. Yeah, please donate. That's what Jink wants. Look, Jink, the tricky dick lawyer. Everybody, look, people have caught on. I showed you December, January. Look, vote no because Pelosi is a monster and an enemy of the working class. But he's 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 running cover for Nancy. Why? You pushed impeachment even though you knew it would fail. Now he pushed impeachment. He knew that would fail. But to but he won't push for the main thing, the number one thing on a on a progressive ticket. Medicare for all. He won't push for that, but he'll push for a failed impeachment. He won't push for Medicare for all during a pandemic that he's been talking about and Kyle has been advocating for. For Kyle's been six years. He's been doing it for four years. Hello. Thank you for calling out that fraud. You're being dishonest. Actually, I think it was your, their job to come up with, with a plan for being constructive. Yeah, the plan was to do nothing and vote for Nancy. That was the plan. That's why nobody can understand it. Okay? Progressives in Congress wake up. Now he's, now he's talking about, look, Pelosi is not, not, now he just said, don't go against Nancy. The ne the very next day, look, look, this is January the 3rd. He's saying, no, y'all can't go against her. Not the very next day, he's saying, she's not on your side. You're going to lose all credibility. He, like, look, you've lost all credibility, Saint Jink. You have. And this guy's like, what the F is this? Didn't you, uh, didn't you fought 
because you wanted AOC and the rest of the squad to vote for Nancy? And now you're saying, what? Did, first you were saying, don't fight her because Kevin McCarthy's going to win. Now you're saying, y'all need to fight because he's lying. He's lying. Now, he's saying, Jimmy, you just don't know politics. So please keep your embarrassed. Keep, keep, so stop embarrassing yourself. Now look. He's saying, so if they had voted present, like you were saying, McCarthy would have won. Okay, now, now, now here's Jimmy. He said, here are all the ways Jink keeps lying about forced to vote. Jink needs another round of funding from Clinton donors, and he thinks nobody will notice that he's kneecapping Medicare for all. Running interference for Democrats. That's what he's doing. Now listen to this. Why is he doing that? Ask Jink why he's lying. Go tweet at him. Ask Jenk why he's lying. Go to their website. Why is Jenk lying? What is what is he getting out of this? Who's he working for? Who is Jenk working for? Why are you trying to derail this moment? <clears throat> Jenk is being revealed to be a kneecapper of this moment. Now, why is he doing it? This is why he's doing it. Prolific fundraising gives Pelosi the edge in speaker election. Now, this is November of last year. I want to show y'all something. All right. Let me show y'all something. Um, all right. Mm, let's see. Democrats will hold a razor thin majority of the House, blah, blah, blah. That's disastrous. Sparked intra party disputes with progressives and moderates giving out opposing views on why Republicans were able to make gains in the house races that's because democrats aren't doing it. it's why they make gains um still amid the turmoil with our caucus is i'm looking for let me see many democrats have, oh look now right here many democrats have tried and failed to challenge pelosi for the role of house democrat they've tried and failed the guy that aoc took out joe crowley that's why they took him out Joe Crowley had been a lifelong just uh, a lifelong corporate Democrat, and in 2016 he started thinking about going against Nancy. In 2017, Jink and Kyle started to justice Democrats, and Kyle said in his video that I watched earlier, and and this was in 2017. Kyle was saying, "Yeah, we formed the Justice Democrats to take out other Democrats, a corporate Democrat." So the plan now, why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they be shooting to take aim uh, uh, Nancy out? Because they, Kyle, Kyle and Jink were going after Crowley. They were going after Crowley because you know why? In 2016, he got the bright idea. But 2018, he actually wanted to go after Nancy full throttle. So the thing is, right? Hmm. So they took Crowley out and they gave us AOC. Now, AOC is still doing the same bidding of the establishment. That's her job. Her job was to take Crowley out and get into Congress and do the same thing. AOC has been on the record. They've showed her giving donations. She's raised funds and given the money to the corporate Democrats. She calls Nancy Mama Bear, Mama Bear Pelosi, because that was her job. She's and they made the Democrats didn't give her any power, but they made a celebrity. She's on. She was on. She was on every late night show that they had. She has over ten minute million Twitter followers. Marsha Fudge was going to go against Nancy. Nancy gave her a committee seat. She gave a committee seat, and now Nancy Marshall Fudge is part of Joe Biden's camp. He's part. She's part of his um, whatever they call it, his, his um, his um, I don't know, his his little uh, White House crew, whatever you want to call, it, whatever. But she she got a promotion to be with Biden. Now, but I want to show you this Pelosi's joint front. Now, look at this. This is her victory front. I want to show y'all this. No, this isn't it. It's another one. Uh, and this is from open source, so this is this is all this is all real information. That's what they do. Um, look, she raised twenty three million dollars through September. Okay, now look at this. Look, look at the biggest. Look, the the DNC, the D triple C, commonly pronounced D triple C, the Democratic Party, um, the, the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee. Look. I want to show y'all something. Oh, wait. This isn't the one I wanted. This isn't the one. I want to show y'all the one where... Um, I want to show y'all... 
Is this the one? Now, this is all of the people that donated to Nancy. A lot of health care and all kinds of other stuff. And that's not the one I'm looking for. Um, oh, this, I think this is it. Pack to the Future. Okay. Is this it? No, these are the people. Now, these are a lot of the Democrats that Nancy, Nancy put in, uh, one point. I think, um, she, I think she donated a million dollars to this and they divided this money up with a lot of other Democrats that were running in races. But this isn't what I'm looking for either. Um, let me see. I can't find it. Um, let me see. Back to campaign, Democratic. And there's, there's, there's this, there's this one where, all right, let me go to this. All right, let's go to, um, let's go to this. Hey, let me see. Was, okay, that's, that's one of the things I'm looking for. But I'm looking for the one where they show Nancy as one of the biggest. Nancy was the biggest donator to the to the D Triple C. She was the biggest donator, and and um and her and her um and Hakeem Jeffries is gonna be the next speaker because he's the next one. Let me see. Um, here's Hakeem, but he's not really who I'm looking for. He's gonna. This is gonna be the next speaker of the house right here, Hakeem. I'm telling you that now. Um, but. Oh, I can't find that one when where they show Nancy. Um, what then? How, how, let me see. Is this the one? Oh, you know something else I want to show y'all. Look at this personal finances. Look, the richest people, the richest person. Look, the richest person in Congress, in the House and the Senate, is a Democrat. Two hundred and fourteen million. Then you have. Republican, Republican, Republican. Then look, another Democrat. You have in the top ten, five of them are Republicans. I mean, five of them are Democrats. You think these people care about us? This guy's got two hundred million dollars. But look who's the richest woman? Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi's got one hundred and fourteen million dollars. Then look, the two richest. They don't even have a rich Republican one, do they? They don't need. Let me see. No, all of the rich women are Democrats. Look, look, Nancy. 114. Diane Feinstein, 87 million. Susan, look, 79. There, there isn't a, a rich Republican in, 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 um, in the House or the Senate because they don't really hold any power. All of the men hold the power in the Republican Party. The women are just there. Just, just, um, just to say, hey, we got a token woman and that one black guy and we got a token Negro. You know, that's, that's the only roles that they play. But I'm looking for, I can't find where, um, but anyway, let's go to this because this is important. But I just want to tell y'all, there's no way that the Democrats were going to go against Nancy because I showed y'all she raised 23 million. She donated 20 of that million to the DNC, the DN triple C. So there's no way the Democrats are going to go after her. They went after Crowley because Crowley wanted to go after, after Pelosi. He wanted to primary her and they primaried him with AOC and knocked him off. The Democrats, that's why, that's why, that's why AOC will never go against the Democrats because she's a plant. She's a plant that came through Jink and Kyle's organization with the Justice Democrats. They're no longer affiliated with the Justice Democrats, but the Justice Democrats were formed for that purpose. Okay. And they took, and that's why, that's why, um, that's why AOC is the biggest celebrity in the Democratic Party because she took out Crowley for, for Nancy Pelosi. And I want to show y'all this because this is very interesting. Where is it? Okay, let's see. Oh, hold the house. Now this, this is everything. Right here, this is everything. I want to show you all this. This is an event, a fundraiser. Look, okay. Hold the house with Speaker Pelosi. Okay, executive produced by John Legend, blah, blah, blah. This is a virtual event series benefiting the Hold the House Victory Fund. Hold the house. Okay, now what she means is hold her in power. Okay. Now, she has a, a list of special guests, but I want to show you all this. Look who's on this list. Look, featuring on day one, this is June 20th of last year, Hillary Clinton. Now, 
now can now you see why now you see why Jink was opposing now wait let me let me get a wait let, let me give y'all a little more clarity here now, I want to show y'all some of the look these are co-chairs on Nancy's board okay now look at this I want to show y'all this where's this guy look Reed Hoffman look at this this is the guy that this is the guy that owns I don't know I, I think well he sold LinkedIn but this is the guy the co-founder and executive chairman of LinkedIn. He's a billionaire. These are the people that Nancy is dealing with. She has billionaires on our board. But I want to show you this. Now I didn't I didn't actually go in to look at everybody that's on here, but I'm pretty sure all of these are some rich people. But I want to show you an interesting name. Look who else is on her look who's on Nancy's board. Look at this. Jeffrey Kratzen Katzenberg. Ha huh. Wait a minute. Jeffrey Katzenberg, look. Wait, here's Jeffrey Katzenberg. Jeffrey Katzenberg, Windsor Invest in TYT Network at, as part of $20 million round. Here's Jink, got $20 million. Hmm, from Katzenberg, who's on Nancy's board. So that's why. He keeps running cover for the squad. That's why Kyle keeps running cover for the squad because Kyle is a part of the TYT network and undoubtedly he must be getting some of this Katzenberg money too because he keeps saying Jimmy said that, 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 that the squad is corrupt Jim, and, and, and Kyle nearly blew a fuse. They're not corrupt. They're not cor What? They're, they're corrupt. What are you talking about, Kyle? Guys, I just showed you. I just showed you the proof. Look. Now, now all of this makes sense. Look, now all of this makes sense. Why he said, don't run against Nancy. Now this makes sense why he's saying, don't force the vote. Because look, look, look who's on, look who's on this board. Hillary Clinton has been a, Hillary and, and Nancy Pelosi are two of the biggest haters against Medicare for all, especially Hillary. Especially Hillary. And you think, you, you, because their donors don't want Medicare for all because it cuts them out of cash. So if Hillary is on this board and Hillary really hates Medicare for all and Nancy hates it and his donor, his donor who I just showed you, Jeffrey Katzenberg, the Katzenberg, the same guy, while this schmuck is sitting here laughing and smiling. Does it make sense now? Now, now let's, let's do all the connections. Let's do all the connections. The Justice Democrats. Kyle and Jink, okay, AOC and the squad, okay, Joe Crowley, a 20-year veteran de uh, corporate Democrat, he gets knocked off by a Justice Democrat named AOC, AOC is tied to Jink, Jink is tied through his donor, to Nancy Pelosi. So this guy Kratzenberg and Kyle said it in a video. Kyle said we did this to take out Crowley. And other just he said Crowley by name and then he said other Justice Democrats. I mean other other corporate Democrats. And the and the lady that's running the, the corporate the the, the um the uh the Justice Democrats, when she said, she said, our goal is to take out Democrats who we feel are weak and need to go. So that's what they do. They're a hit squad. And the same Justice Democrats, guess who they, they endorsed? Neera Tandon. What? Neera Tandon is the most hated person in the Democratic Party, male or woman. She is next to Hillary Clinton. She And, and she's a Hillary Clinton goon. She hates Jimmy Dore, near attended. Everybody ain't, they was going to give her a seat in Joe Biden. Democrats voted against her and Republicans. Joe Biden still put her in a position where they didn't have to vote on her. Now she's a senior advisor. She hates Jimmy and she hates Bernie Sanders. So that tells you the type of person that near attended is. And Justice Democrats endorsed near attended. The guys, these people are not on your side. They're, they're not going to help. That they are not going to do anything to help us, and nobody, nobody, nobody's doing this. Everybody who I'm seeing cover this, you know what they've covered? They've covered 
Oh, the drama. Oh, guys, this is not about drama. Jimmy exposed them when he showed Medicare for all and all of them went against it. And now, now you can see why. Now you can see why they went against it. Kratzenberg is on their board. Kratzenberg gave him $20 million. Hmm. Makes sense, right? And now, now, like I said, draw the connection. The Justice Democrats, AOC, connected to Jink, who connected to Kratzenberg, who's connected to Nancy Pelosi, Hillary Clinton. So the, Hillary Clinton is going to explain that. That explains why, and, and Nancy, that explains why they don't want Medicare for all. But that also explains why Jink keeps running cover for Nancy and saying one one thing one second he's saying y'all need to fight y'all need to fight against Nancy then the next second he's saying like right here if y'all do fight against Nancy then the the McCarthy's gonna become speaker and Jimmy's saying you're lying he's look right here Jimmy says you sad he was saying this in December you sad little man who has no idea how to actually fight a challenge power since you took twenty million dollars from Clinton donors okay here he is taking it to twenty million Katzenberg Katzenberg, right here, on the same board. He's on Nancy Pelosi's board. It doesn't seem like a contract. Doesn't that seem like a big conflict of interest for a progressive to be uh, having a donor that is donating to the corporate Democrats? That seems like a big, big. That's why. That's why I told y'all it was gonna be hard. Look, this video, this one, this one, this one. Everywhere he's flip flopping on all of these. Look, I'm going through these tweets. He's flip flopping through all of them. One second he's saying, "Don't vote for Nancy." Then, then the next one he's saying, "But if you don't vote for Nancy, then the, the Republicans gonna get it." Then he's saying, "Well, the progressives need to get together because what he's doing is he's trying to appease his donors by saying." Yeah, y'all don't don't fight against Nancy. But then he's still trying to appease to his progressive base by saying, "No, you have to fight Nancy." And then, and, and then you look at all of these comments, and, and and people, even the people in the comments, they're saying, you know, uh, look, this guy says so. The strategy is to wait to have no power over the corporate Democrats to take action. What happened to rational thoughts? Because it just doesn't make sense. And look, this one, aren't you a union buster hack? Of course he is. Of course he is. Of course he is. As you go through the, as you go through, pe people would, look, he's saying he's lying to his audience again. He's silly. You know, if Pelosi doesn't win, that's not true what you're saying, Jink. You're lying. All of these people are saying it. Look, you're lying. Look, do you know how speakers are elected? You know, you're, you're gaslighting. There's no chance of McCarthy from the GOP becoming speaker. He's lying. Now you know why he's lying. I just showed you why he's lying. His twenty million dollars, his twenty million dollar donor is on Nancy's board. How low can you go? My God, Jink. And I and I couldn't find a video to show you what Nancy Pelosi was the biggest donor out of twenty three million dollars that she raised from our corporate donors. She gave twenty million dollars to the DN Triple C. Do you think they're gonna let Nancy go? No, no, they're not gonna let Nancy go. She gave twenty million dollars, and I showed y'all Nancy. Nancy's the richest woman in Congress. She's got over a hundred million. You think AOC is gonna challenge her? That's why Nan that's why AOC is saying Mama Bear. Okay, Mama Bear. All of these people, but you know it's the one thing? All of these people are connected to this idiot. Jimmy is Jimmy is is going directly at him. But Jimmy's got a connection with him. AOC, Nancy, Katzenberg. Jimmy is the direct opposition of everything that he's trying to do. And I showed you all that video where Jimmy's saying, why is he doing this? Who's paying you? ...to hand the GOP leader to speaker position. He's still doing it. He's still lying. Why is he doing that? Ask Cenk why he's lying. Go tweet at him. Ask Cenk why he's lying. Go to their website. Why is Cenk lying? What is, what is he getting out of this? Who's he working for? Who is Cenk working for? Why are you trying to derail this moment? Jenk is being revealed to be a kneecapper of this moment.
Do you want Medicare for all vote? Nine, almost 90% of his viewers do. Yet he'll still lie. These are fucking straight up lies. Now it's a half baked and it hands the speakership to the, no, it doesn't, it doesn't do any of those things. Okay. There you have it. There you have it. Jink and Kyle are both corrupt because Kyle, because Kyle wasn't pushing for Medicare for all. He wasn't pushing for forced to vote either. And Kyle revealed himself when he attacked Jimmy saying it was about Anna. When really he was running cover for Jink and Jink not, uh, not advocating for forced to vote. That's what this is all about. Jink made everything personal and started because if you look at every time that that Jimmy has attacked Jimmy had never said anything about Jink before forced to vote. Jimmy went on a crusade for the last six or seven months. Jimmy's channel has been around for over four, five, six, seven, eight years. He's never said one thing about Jink ever on not bad on his channel until Jink wouldn't give people health care during the middle of a pandemic after Jink had been advocating for it for years. Then when see see Jink Jink and Kyle as long as they can just talk about it and not actually do anything they're both for it. But when they actually had to do it, Kyle didn't endorse it. Why why the hell why why did why did he have to go on the hill to get endorsed? Why why didn't Kyle endorse it? Kyle, I showed you the video. Why also why is Kyle keep running cover for the Justice Democrats? Keep saying they need just need to pull together when Kyle showed a video of Corey Bush saying we're not we're not gonna do that. So why is he running cover for them? Because he's getting some of that money too to run cover for these fake progressives to keep it like they're doing something. Like like there's a chance they just fight. Kyle is a careerist within the Democratic Party. That's why he opposed. Guys, if you go to his channel. No. If you go to Kyle's channel. All right. Let me see. You can, you go to his channel, right? Let's, let's go. Let's go. Not, not to this. Let's go to videos. All right. I want to show y'all this a month ago. This is Kyle. I want to show y'all this video. Let me see if I can find it. It's a two hour video. And in this video, I'm looking for it. Um, uh, I wonder if I passed it. No. In this video, Kyle just blows the, the, that whole idea of a third party. Why? Why? Why doesn't, why isn't Kyle knowing that after he failed, after he says he, that the Demo Justice Democrats failed miserably, why would he be for a third party? Hmm. Because Kyle is trying to keep everybody within the Democratic Party trying to make you think that you can reform the Democrats when he knows that you cannot. And every one of these progressives that I'm looking, I cannot find that video. And he knows that every single progressive in there is not going to do anything. He knows that because he like he and in his video, he said, I put the Justice Democrats together. Yes, you did. You and corrupt anything that Jinx involved with. You automatically know it's corrupt. It's corrupt. Here it is right here. Here it is. Secular talk, talking smack. Yeah, he was talking smack. He was talking smack about a guy who's trying to do something because him and Jink aren't. Kyle's been Kyle's have this channel over 12 years and the only accomplishment that Kyle can see that he did was the corrupt justice democrats that have been endorsing Mira Tandon, AOC who calls Pelosi mama bear and who's donating money to the corporate democrats and the squad who are doing nothing they're doing nothing but tweeting Kyle is an insider fraud and that's like I told you that's the whole reason he attacked Jimmy Dore and said oh it's behind it's, it's because of the skirt Kyle, why why are you talking about the skirt? And he said, and, and he said, if I was to ask the tough question, I would have to ask Jimmy about the skirt. No, 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 Kyle, the tough question. That's that. You say you're a policy guy, right? What about policy? Well, ask the policy question. The policy question would be Jimmy. Do you think that ever since, uh, ever since, uh, no, wait, wait, Jimmy, we are progressives. We're supposed to be progressives. Me, uh, you, uh, Jink. Do you think that uh, Jink taking that twenty million dollars had anything to do with kneecapping, forced to vote, and not wanting to uh, primary or go against Nancy Pelosi. That would have been the question to ask. But instead, Kyle makes the whole thing about the blackmail, and he keeps trying to make Jimmy wrong. And see, that's where he exposed himself. Because when I started thinking about it, I said, Jimmy, 
I see this guy been talking about Medicare for all, but he never endorsed it. Not on his channel, not in front. Look, not in front, not in front almost a million people. He didn't do it. I just showed y'all. He didn't do it. He keeps speaking highly of the, he goes, he goes on Kyle, on Crystal and Yeager, whatever Yeager, whatever, whatever that it is, whatever his name is. He goes in there and he says, well, Democrats, Democrats, they just get together after, after he showed that Cory Bush said they're not. But he, but he attacks the guy that I just showed y'all the two hour video. He attacks that guy for wanting to start a third party because that guy said, Hey, the, the Democrats can't be reformed. So why is Kyle keep trying to keep us within the Democratic Party? I just showed you he's part of, he's, he's part of the Justice Democrats. He's part of AOC. And guess what? Kyle's part of the TYT network. And look, TYT, they didn't say, they didn't, look, notice, they didn't say Jake Uger receives 20 million. They say the TYT network. Kyle's a part of the network. They don't even say Jinx's name in it. In the headline. In the headline, it says Jeffrey. It says it says the donor. And it says the recipient is the TYT network. So Kyle is a part of the network that gaslights progressives. Sam Cedar, he's an affiliate. I don't know if he's still part, but he came through that rank of, of TYT. And he's a scumbag. You know, he's got a hundred videos all against Jimmy. Jimmy didn't have one. I went through Jimmy's channel. He didn't have one video talking about Sam. Sam has a hundred videos talking about Jimmy. I mean, talking about Jimmy. Hmm. Seems weird to me. Jim, Benjamin Dixon. He, all of these people must, must have gotten a piece of this 20 million dollars because Benjamin Dixon, he was putting a head out on Jimmy too. It all makes sense now. It, it, why, why wouldn't, why wouldn't this say he invest in Jink Uger? They used Kratzenberg's name. They didn't, they didn't, now look. Now they say Katzenberg, Windsor Corporation invest. Why they didn't say they invest in Sink, Younger, T1? Because he invested in that whole network. He bought all of them, including Kyle. Including Kyle. That's why Kyle keeps running cover for progress, fake progressives in Congress that aren't ever going to do anything. And Jimmy said they're corrupt. And Kyle says they're not corrupt. They're not. He went on Crystal Show, and he said they're not corrupt. And and then he got mad. He said there's people that are saying they're corrupt, and they're not corrupt. To be corrupt, you have to take corporate cash. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Corrupt. Corrupt. Corrupt is getting either money or some type of, I forget what it is, but it doesn't have to be money. It doesn't have to necessarily be money to be corrupt. And let me see something. Um, now I don't, you can go look up corrupt, but it's got, it's, it's not just money. It's not just money. And, and everything, everything that AOC has, it doesn't even have to be with money because she's got fame. She went from a bartender to making 174000 a year. She's got the best health, Medicare, Medic, whatever, health care. They work two days and then they take a month off. That's all benefits. That's all benefits. And for Kyle to sit there and say that, all right, let me let me see something. Look, corrupt. Having a showing willingness to act dishonestly in return for money or personal gain. So why is Kyle trying to make everything that it has to be about about money? Personal gain. So he's running cover and he's lying. And when Jimmy said that they're corrupt, he says, no, they're not. Because Kyle, why is Kyle running cover for them? Hmm. Because Kyle is trying to keep these progressives in Congress. He's trying to get more in there. Well, we need more. Jink, we need more progressives. Why? Why? So they can, so they can be the new face of the Democratic Party? Because they're not, they're not, they're not going in there to be anything else but more of the same. And they're getting paid to do this. That's what they're doing. And Shields, Kyle, and Jink, they're the ones behind Justice Democrats, AOC, and the squad. And Jink has, like I showed you, he has direct, he has direct access to Nancy Pelosi and Kratzenberg. So guys, Kyle is not who you think he is. He's not. He is not who you think he is. He is part of the corporate Democrats who pretend to be a progressive because if he wasn't, he would have pushed for forced to vote with Jimmy. Like I said, the rest of them, Sam Cedar, Benjamin Dixon, Sink, Jink, they all just flat out just went against it. But Kyle, Kyle didn't go against it. He just didn't endorse it. 
after talking about it for six years. Hmm. Kyle's a Kyle. And, and notice, guys, notice. I didn't attack Kyle personally. I attacked him everything on policy. The same way that he sees a policy guy. Because if he was a policy guy, he said, I, well, you know, I don't want to do the drama. I want to, I want to stick to policy. Then why the first thing he said was Anna. Policy would have been, yeah, on the policy, Jimmy wants to force a vote. Jimmy want, is advocating for Medicare for all. That was the policy. Instead, he said, I don't want to be a part of it. And then he goes into the drama that he calls it drama. No, the policy was Medicare for all, forced to vote. Jenk is the one who got in the mud and wanted to start slinging mud like an angry gorilla because he couldn't, because he couldn't, because he couldn't come up with a legitimate reason why the biggest pro so-called progressive network would oppose the thing that's on the top of the progressive ticket, Medicare for all. There was no reason. And so what did, what, what did Kyle do? Kyle ran cover for him and made it about Anna. Anna was a distraction that Jink used to try to get everybody to start looking at, hey, look at the black nail. Stop, stop looking at me and my corruption. Stop looking at the 20 million dollars I took. Stop looking at that. Look, look, look at, look at what Jimmy did seven years ago. That he apologized for. No, 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 no. Y'all look at that. He's a sexist. He's, he's a, he's, a, no. Why didn't, they didn't miss it, nothing because, see, it's gotten so bad. I showed y'all all of that stuff that's been going on been since, since December. And it's constant, and you can see the people in the comments were saying, back in January and December, you're a fraud. You're a fake. And it's gotten so bad. And nobody's covering this. Everybody's saying, everybody's just covering the, this, the stuff that, that's, that's not even important. Guys, you notice, know for me, I'm not even covering Aaron Monte. I'm not even covering, I'm not even, Anna, Anna's got nothing to do with this. Anna's just a pawn that Jink used as a distraction. Aaron Monte was just was just something that he used as a distraction to get the whole cover off. He has been exposed so bad, and Jimmy has attacked him so many times for being a fraud. And he's attacked the fraud squad so many times for being frauds. And constantly, Kyle has to keep defending the fraud squad because Kyle's job is... And TYT is to run cover for these progressives. Keep gaslighting people that if you just believe in the progressives, well, you know, well, at first it wasn't enough of them. Now it's 10 of them. They're still not doing anything. Well, maybe if we get 20 of them, we could really have power. Then we get 20. Well, maybe if we have 30. They, guys, they just keep moving the goalposts to keep their jobs. Kyle is a careerist. That's all he's doing. He's just, he's a gaslighter. He's a, he's a political operator for the Democratic Party. That's what he is. And Jink is the same thing. Jink's a, He's an operator. I just showed you Jink is an obvious operator. Hell, he's he's sitting next to the most the, the the wealthiest, most powerful Democrat with Katzenberg. These got these guys are a a a political hacks. That's what they are. Stop falling for it. Don't donate any more money to Kyle. Don't give another dollar. And guys, don't give another dollar to TNT. And and notice, notice, I didn't even bring up. I said don't give another dollar to Kyle because of his corruption. It's got nothing to do with Jimmy. He's corrupt. He's corrupt. I just showed you all of the evidence. Stop running cover for the squad. Stop running cover for AOC. Stop saying that they're not corrupt, Kyle, because you're corrupt. Stop trying to bring Anna into a dispute that Jink has started with another man. Stop bringing this woman. That's that's beta male stuff, Kyle. Why are you bringing this woman into this to into this mess that Jink has started that he has caused? And then and then. Do you think, then, then this is another reason why Kyle goes to Jimmy. Do you think Kyle wanted Jimmy to come on the show and say the truth about what this is about? Because as soon as Jimmy, because all Jimmy got to do is say, hey, because as soon as Kyle starts saying, hey, you know, with Anna, hey, look, Anna's, all Jimmy got to do is say, hey, Anna's got nothing to do with this. This is between me and Jink. This is behind Jink with the most big, with the biggest progressive ne network opposing forced to vote, uh, opposing Medicare for all in the middle of a pandemic when he's been advocating for, for, uh, for Medicare for all for years. Now when I actually, now when I actually do something, I say, hey, let's, now we have enough progressives in Congress. Let's demand something. Everybody says no. That's what this, look, Kyle would never ask that question because then that would have put him in direct line of fire. So what did he do? He made it about Anna. That was to cover his ass. Then he did, he did two videos. He did two videos and never touched the topic of Medicare for all. Never touched that topic. Because that's, guys, that's, that's what all of this started from. Look, way back, December, Medicare for all. That's, that's where all of this started from. Him lying.
Jimmy had never attacked him until he started lying. And you mean the the the, the whole nucleus, the whole genesis of this? Kyle Kyle not gonna Kyle didn't bring force the vote up? Kyle didn't bring up Medicare for all, he brought up Anna? Why? And if Kyle was a friend, wouldn't you if if my friend had a had an issue with another friend, I would bring that friend on and say, Hey man, look, here's the floor, you're my friend. Both of y'all my friends. Don't be disrespectful. Say whatever you want to say. If you, and if y'all want to talk outside of uh, outside of the show, y'all y'all to get in touch with each other. But hey, man, look, go ahead. Say what's, what's going on. What's going on, Jimmy? Why? What's going on with you and Jimmy? What's what's the problem? What's going on? Instead, instead, he came up with a with a bullshit lie, and he said that the reason that I didn't I didn't bring him on was because I didn't want to be in the middle of this mess. Guys, look at this. It's been since December. You mean to tell me two weeks ago, which was like June, now when it's when it's as toxic as as Jink has made it into smearing, lying, and slander to cover his ass, now you want to bring Jimmy on, and then now that's now this is the time when you cancel. This is the time when you cancel. This is when you bring him on when it's the worst. This is when you should have brought him on when he was fighting for Medicare for all. That's when you should have brought him on, like. Like Crystal right here, way back in December. That's when you should. That's when you should have brought him on. Should have brought him on then. Why would you bring him on in the middle of some bullshit and then say I don't want to be involved in it? When you would have, when you've been talking about Medicare for all for six years, 2015. Why would you bring him on then? Then you ghost him. Now he said you don't want to be. In, how would you be in the middle, Kyle? Your friends were both of them. I could never be in the middle of two of my friends arguing. I would be the mediator. Instead, Kyle was an instigator. That's why he didn't want to get involved because he was instigating. Because he kept making it about, well, yeah, Jimmy, you look. This this idiot says, well, I agree with TYT ten or fifteen percent. How do you agree with somebody who's a hundred percent wrong? How do you agree ten or fifteen percent with somebody who's a hundred percent wrong? He's corrupt. He's running cover for the for the fake progressive in Congress. He's running cover for Jink in his in his in his scam organization that he's running. And Kyle's a part of it because there's no other reason. There's no other reason because Kyle. What what does Kyle need TYT for? Anybody could do a YouTube channel. He can do his own. Why does he have to be on that network? He can do his own YouTube channel and run run ads in front of it. Look, uh, I don't know if this video this is an old one. I don't know, he probably doesn't have his uh, Patreon in this one. But his newer videos, Patreon, he can he doesn't need TYT to put Patreon in the link in the description. He doesn't need TYT to run an ad in front of his video. So what's the reason why he's still with with this with this blatantly corrupt company? You know why? You know why? Because he's a part of the TYT network and they receive twenty million dollars. He's a part of that network. Anybody can put a YouTube channel. Jimmy's got his own YouTube channel. He's got a Patreon or whatever he has to, whatever, I don't know. And he runs ads. He's not part of that network. Anybody, kind of need them to do that. But he's a part of that network and he's getting some of that corporate cash to gas like progressives and make them think that they actually have a chance. And they don't. Because Kyle and Jink are corrupt. And all they're going to keep giving us is more AOCs. People who go out there and talk a good game and tweet it and tweet and give us bullshit. That's what we're going to get. Now, guys. This was a lot longer than I wanted, but it was a lot to unpack because y'all don't y'all thinking Kyle Kyle is one hundred percent corrupt, and he showed us that when he made two back to back videos and he never touched the main issue of 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 challenging Speaker Pelosi, which Jimmy was advocating for, and he didn't he, he didn't and he didn't touch on and he did not touch on force to vote and Medicare for all, which he's been pushing for six years and TYT has been pushing for at least four years. He's corrupt. He's corrupt. He's a he's a he's a he's a Democrat pretending to be he's a he's a he's part of the corporate Democrats pretending to be a progressive. Just like and Jinx is even worse because Jinx is just a full blown Republican pretending to be a progressive. He's a right wing pro war. <laughs> wow. Now, now now Kyle isn't that bad because Kyle still has some progressive views, but he's still corrupt. Just like AOC, she might have some progressive views, but she's still corrupt. 
Kyle may not believe in war and he may not believe in, but he believes in taking part in his, in his, this money. He believes in gaslighting for progressives that in Congress that aren't doing anything. So guys, stop listening to Kyle. Don't send him any money. Don't listen to, uh, don't listen to, uh, to Jen because he's a flat outlier. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and end this video.